Hello Teach Now, these are my two students for today. On my left we have Joseph and on my right we have my little brother uh, Mr. Adam. They both go to Fairfax High School and I told them that today we're going to be teaching them uh, basic exponents. Alright guys, so my name is <laughs> my name is Mr. Gonzalez. The dog is too much. All right, so my name is Mr. Gonzalez. I uh, graduated from ASU as a journalism teacher, but I am doing uh, I am doing uh, getting my master's degree in education. So uh, today I'm going to be teaching guys a little bit of math. All right. Um, I love math. I've been doing math for a couple years now. And uh, I have a class of my own where I teach my students math. And uh, I, I want to show you a little bit of what they uh, have, have been learning. <clears throat> so today, we're going to go over three things. One, what? Uh, one is exponents. That's like the big idea, it's exponents. So what about exponents? Uh, what 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 does it mean? What does it mean when when a number has an exponent? Two is how to apply exponents. And this applies to not only squares, we're going to learn squares, um, cubes, and fours, and fives, and so on and so forth. And five, we're going to learn how to, five, <laughs> three. three, fun fact, there's three types of people in this world, the ones that can count, and the ones that can't. <laughs> Good math joke, right? We're going to multiply exponents. Can I drop one? So we're going to learn what does it mean to have an exponent. We're going to learn how to apply it and then we're going to multiply the exponents. All right. Hope you took your notes because we're going to have a test on you. Give us a so first question, do any of you know what an exponent is? You don't? Mr. Joseph, do you not know what an exponent is? Do you do not. Okay. Good. That's why we're learning this thing. Right here. That's why I'm here, correct, Mr. Joseph. Alright, so give me a number from three. Two, two to three. Perfect number. So let's say we have oh. the number three, right? An exponent is gonna be on the right corner. Mm -hmm. And it'll look something like this. Usually this is called squared. When an exponent is a two, it's called a square. I have a question. Yes, sir. Um, is that for any number or only two can go up there? Any number could go up here, but right now we're gonna focus on this two and then we're gonna elaborate. Are they all, are they all called squares? They're all not called squares. So for example, uh, an exponent with the number two is called a square. Uh, an exponent with the number three is called a cube. And the rest of them don't have numbers. You just say, well, I'll explain right now. So, let me move this a little to the side. So, let's say you have the number three, like Mr. Joseph had previously stated. One, two. And uh, you'll get your number 12 soon, Mr. Mr. What's your name? Mr. Tito? Yes, correct. Um, At the beginning of the day, like you said. So, so let's say you have the number three, right? And you're squaring it. So the question is, what does that mean? We have, we have a, a three, which is our constant, it's our variable, and then we have two, which is our exponent. So what does this, this mean? Do any of you know what this means? What does it mean? You don't know? Okay, that's fine. That's why we're does here. It mean, does it mean three times two? Three, three is the parent, two is the baby. That is 
No. Does it, no. Mean, does it mean three times two? No, it does not mean Or is it just the other way around? Is two so, baby. I mean, so this exponent is going to tell us how many times we're going to multiply this number by itself. So this right here is saying we're going to multiply three times itself two times. So this is what it's going to look like. Three to the power of two is equal to three times three. That's the same thing. So three to the power of two is three times three. So uh, what's three times three? Six. Six? No, it's nine. Three times three equals nine. So three squared is the same thing as three times three, which is nine. So give me another number. Mr. Adam, you said 12. I don't think you erased it. That's all right. So we're gonna have twelve squared, right? We have twelve squared. So, like I said before, what does twelve to the power of two mean? Twelve times itself two times. Yes. So twelve times twelve. <laughs> So we have right now 12 times 12. What is 12 times 12? I don't know, it's a really big number. Mr. Joseph, do you know? No, you don't? That's fine, that's why we're here. 12 times 12 is 144. All right? So this just means 12, two times, 12 times 12, right here. All right, give me another number. Four. Four. Four to the power of two. All right, so Mr. Joseph, what's next? What does four times to the power of two mean? Four times itself. Four to the power of two. Four. I, How many times are we gonna put that four down? Two. Two, two times? Two. Yeah. Is that right? Yes, correct. So what's four times four? You tell me, Mr. Joseph. 16? 16, yes, Mr. Adam. 16. <laughs> all right, so now I'm gonna let you guys do one each, all right? So we're gonna have um, nine to the power of two, and then we're gonna have seven to the power of two. Come on down. All right, so come up and uh, try this yourself. Do you have a blue marker? I don't have a blue marker. Uh, you don't have a blue marker. You don't have a blue marker. I have a blue marker. You just kind of do it. No. No. Do it again. Like I said, here. Excuse me, Mr. Mr. Joseph. Can you sit down, Mr. Joseph? All right. Quick. Yeah. All right. So I said nine to the power of two equals nine times nine. This number twice. Can I use the erase it? Yes. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead, Mr. Joseph. <laughs> Correct. All right, so I just taught you how to do squares. Now, we're going to go over uh, cubes, all right? So let's say we have the number two, and we're going to cube it. It means two to the power of three. So what do you think, Joseph, can you tell me what you think this means? If two to the power of two means two times two, what would two to the power of three mean? Two times itself three times. So. How would that look? Two times two times two. So, what's two times two? Four. 
Times two? Eight. Eight, correct. Does it mean, does it mean two times three? No. No. Does it mean? It's two to the, two to the power of three. Yes, it does mean two to the power of three. How would you know that the vocabulary is your first time learning it? He told me. He said, yes. He said earlier, because he said two, and then, or what was the number? It was three. And then there was a two instead of a three. So, and he said two to the power. Or he said three to the power of two. So then now we'll do three to the power of three. So three to the power of three. So, Mr. Adam, what do you think this means? I think it means three times three times three. It does. Three times three times three. So what's three times three? Uh, nine. What's nine times three? Correct, 27. 27. So you have 27, all right? So, so this is how you do cubes. Now, we'll go over even higher numbers. We're not gonna do all the math right now, but I'm just gonna show you how it would be applied to bigger numbers. So let's say we have uh, eight, right? To the power of five. What do you think this means? Eight times eight times eight times eight times eight. Yep, eight times eight times eight times eight times eight. Correct. And what would the answer be for that? Well, you would have to put in the calculator. But that's the concept. That's how you figure out how to do an exponent. Let me repeat the question. Does this mean 8 times 5? No. What does it mean? 8 times itself 5 times. Times itself 5 times. Alright? Good. So now, now that we've learned how to, what it means and how to apply it, we're going to learn how to multiply cubes. Alright? How to multiply exponents. Okay, so let's say we have... We'll use letters for right now. Let's say we have a, right, to the power of five, mm -hmm. times a One. to the power of three. Can you just a, b? Anyways, so, what do you think we're gonna do here? A times a times a times a times no. a times no. no. But there's an easier way to do it. There's an easier way to do it. All right, so, so in this, equation, we're not going to necessarily multiply, what we're going to do is we're going to add these exponents, okay? So what's 5 plus 3? 8. 8. So a to the power of 8. Alright? So that's when, we, when you multiply two constants with, with exponents, you're going to add the exponents and you're going to get this, alright? So it'll be the same thing when you're using a number. So seven to the power of two times seven to the power of six. All right, so what's two plus six? Eight. eight. So we're gonna have seven to the power of eight. And that means, seven, not seven times eight, that means seven, seven times, times seven, itself. Seven, seven, seven times seven times seven. Correct, seven times yes, seven. yes, that's exactly what it means. So. Let me ask you this. Let's say we have seven to the power of two times seven to the power of, no, so not not seven. Let's say we have uh, three to the power of four. Can we still do that? No. No, that's correct, because they're different numbers, they're different constants, it wouldn't be the same. So this only applies when you have the same number, okay? So, in this case, you wouldn't be able to find the answer. What you would have to do is 7 to the power of 2, which is 49, and 3 to the power of 4. And then you would have to times that. So, let's do another one. Let's, let's do, like I said, this can be applied to letters and numbers. So, we, let's say we have B uh, to the power of 3 times D to the power of 4. What would the answer be? Can't really do much with it. 
Yeah, you can't do much with it. Why? Because there's two different variables. Because there's two different variables. That's exactly right. So when they're different, you can't mix them. So let's replace this D with a B. So how do you do this? You add the three and the four together. Yes. So what would the answer be? Seven. B B B B B seven. B seven. All right. Cool. Yes. Correct. So now, so would you guys say you understand? All right, so the three big ideas I want you to go away with is three to the power of two means three times three, not three times two, okay? Know the difference. Three, two times. Three times three, not three times two. The second big idea I want you to go away with is that when you have the same constant with exponents, you add. You don't subtract, you don't multiply, or divide, you add. So b to the power of 4 times b to the power of 3 is b7. So you add the exponents when there's a multiplication sign in the middle. All right? The last big idea I want you to go away with is that c squared, the last, that, that when you have two different constants, two different variables, you cannot do this. You can't use the, the multiplication rule. You can't do that. These don't mix that way. Because they're different? Because they're different. Because they're different. All right. All right, so for our last activity, for our activity, we're, I'm going to have you guys create your own problem and solve it. So go ahead. I want it to be a multiplication problem. Like an exponent for it? Yes. Two to the power of four is 16. 83 times a to the power of four, you kept both variables the same, you got 87. All right, thank you guys. Um, you guys can now go on to your prodigy.com and practice this stuff. All right, I don't have an account. <laughs>